So guys, welcome back. Well, I did uh, squats and deadlifts Tuesday. I've been a bit slack all week, so I thought I'd do some bench today. Starting off light. I'm not going to go too heavy because I can't because my, my bench is crap. But um, we'll see how we go. Put a bit more weight on. Here it is, it's tens. Put some 25s on. jump. I'll bring it up to 90, so I'll be heavy for me. That's only 70, but it felt like 90. I'll get it up to 90 and see what that feels like. See, I've got my, my safety bars there, so if I drop it, um, it'll be above my neck, which is good. I don't want to strangle myself. I've got through all week without having an injury, so I don't want to have one now. Okay. Pop it up 10 on each side, bring it up to 90. Even if I can just get a couple of reps. Might be a bit of background noise, that's the air conditioner. I haven't got the fan on because otherwise it'd be too noisy. But I can hear people mowing outside, which is uh, necessary at the moment because we've had so much rain. Grass is growing nuts up here in Queensland. Okay. Still playing with my width, trying to get my width right. I find I have to roll this forward, otherwise I can't lift it off. So I'm fighting against it already. Money's heavy for me. But I'll get there one day. I, don't, I haven't really done much benching at all. But I need to. <coughs> still playing with the width. Still playing with elbow width. Still playing with stance. It's, um, it's awkward. I think if I had a spotter, I'd probably feel a bit safer. So I don't want to go too any heavier than that. Probably can't lift it anyway. <clears throat> it sure is hot. I'm going to have, see if I can do one more rep. 
a little bit, bit different width, a bit closer in, see what happens. heavy for me. I'm going to drop it back again and better to do more reps than try and kill yourself or a heavy weight. So I normally do I normally do flights for the chest so this is entirely different for me but I can feel it that's for sure. to get eight but the last one was a bit of a cheat wasn't it oh just find it awkward with this with the smith machine and it's on a um, backwards pitch so the bar wants to roll back that way so they should have roll it towards the front and then lift it off Easy if you have a spotter to lift it off for you. <clears throat> anyway, it is what it is. But I'm trying to, I'm trying to um, not use the Smith machine part because I'm trying to focus on my stabilizer muscles more. Because I find if I use the Smith machine. Even though it supports you this way, it doesn't support you up and down that way, but it supports you to some extent that you're not using all your stabilizing muscles. So this is the best way. And I might do some flies after that. I've just got to concentrate a bit more. Do them a bit more often, eh? Safety bars work. Everything I do, I use safety bars on. If I didn't have that, they'd fall onto my chest, I'd have to try and roll them off. Probably bruise yourself up a bit. Woo. Anyway, that's enough benching. I'll um, switch up to um, cable flies. Prefer cable flies. Not so sure what sort of weight I've got on there, but it's heavy. Yeah. 
was. After the benching, I'm a bit taxed. Oh. Are they good? Give you a good stretch. Only thing with this particular Smith machine, where you can't you can't adjust the height of your of your rolls for your cables, so it's stuck up there. But I did want to try standing on the bench dropping the weight and see if I can do some maybe forwards a bit. I want to try and do it up if I can. Anyway, we'll do some more of those. So you guys with the Bioforce, you can do these on the Bioforce too. Um, and sitting down so sitting down on the bio force, if you use, uh, put, your, put your handles up here, the cables up, pulleys up here, sitting down, that's a good height. And then you can adjust your seat down if you want to get higher. <coughs> Actually, I actually might do that after, have a look around with that. Anyway, all flies. been a busy week of work and a lot of shit going on, fixing stuff at home, so been a bit slack this week. I'll make up for it today and tomorrow. What's everyone else been up to? Heaps of workouts. Just um, leave a note bit below the um, video in the comments. Let me know what you've been up to. I like to know uh, what other people get up to, get a few comments of what's going on. So it's all the guys like me out there putting heaps of training in, um, doing well with their squats and deadlifts. So that's good. I just got to keep going with these, this chest, try and get the bench up a bit. Seems to be. Uh, it's like when I was watching a cow meet a couple of weeks ago. The guys that were squatting. Incredible amount of weight, like 200 odd kilos, and deadlift and 200 odd kilos, and come to bench, and the same guys were struggling over like over 110 kilos, 120, which I thought they would do a lot more on. So everyone's got their favourite body parts and favourite exercises by the look of it, and uh, mine, my least favourite is bench pressing. I can tell you that. Um, squats and deadlifts. Deadlifts my favourite. Um, always been a good deadlifter for my, for my body weight and age. Squats probably my second favourite, but I've only just 
recently started that again. Had an accident last January, which I had whiplash and everything from. So I didn't do any um, real squats until January this year, I think. It started. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was January. So I'm going alright with those, I reckon. I'll do one more set of flies. Anterior delts burning, which is good. So I'm getting pec and anterior delts working there. Let me see if I can do some uh, more upright flies on the bioforce. I'll switch that up and see what we can do on that one. Don't do what I've done before, come in and start trying to pull on this because it's connected straight to the, the bar. I'm not gonna pull it anywhere. have that bar out of the way because it puts unnecessary tension on the cables and uh, it makes it hard for you to change things as well like I just found out. So I've got that on fairly light, only on 25 pounds per side. Just want to do some upright flies. That's light, it gives you a good good comp, good workout. Whew. Another few of those. I need to get some water. I need to get some water. I'll be back in a minute, guys. It's better, got some water. up to, what is it, May, June, July, August, coming up to my 11th month of the carnival diet, um, I'm getting stronger, the extra proteins help me build muscle, and some people comment that, that what steroids am I taking? Um, that's just the benefits of having extra protein. A bit of creatine. Um, now carnitine I take gives you a bit more energy, helps to burn your, your fat. Um, GABA. Uh, I take GABA, which is um, a neurotropic agent, so 
that helps to it helps you sleep too. But while you're sleeping, it, it helps your uh, your growth hormone improves your growth hormone, so it helps your muscles grow. Right? It gives you a bit of a tingle in the face when you take it. You have to muck around with it. So I start on a half a teaspoon, then I take a teaspoon, just a little bit of water. You can buy that anywhere. Buy it online. Um, yeah, it makes you really relaxed and helps you sleep. So just take that just before you go to sleep. It pretty well works straight away. You don't get any side effects of it either. You can wake up and you, you feel fine. You don't get any any after effects like you get from uh, Tamazepam or, or any of those um, sleeping pills or even the uh, uh, what's the one? Anyway, most things that you take to help you sleep, they'll, they'll give you some sort of thick head in the morning. Make you feel pretty dull in the morning, but you don't get that in the cabin. You just wake up and you feel good. Um, like I said, I don't have any pain in my joints anymore from the extra fats I'm having. Um, not eating um, vegetables, um, grains or anything like that, so I don't get any um, any any uh, fibre stuck in my uh, diverticular, so I don't get diverticulitis anymore. I always had sigmoid pain, no matter what I ate, as soon as I stopped all the fibre, because we can't digest fibre, fibre. So as soon as I stopped that, um, within a month, it all gone gone out. It takes a while to get out of your little pockets when you've got no particular disease. Within the month, had no pain, had no pain all year, all, all last year, which is really good. Um, just changed my life. Plus, you, you don't get cravings all day either. I, I can, uh, you know, have, have a bit of egg and a bit of meat in the morning. I usually don't eat breakfast because I, I leave home too early. So I usually eat about 10.30, 10 o'clock, just a couple of, a couple of eggs and one egg. And then lunchtime I'll have my mince or my meat that we prepared the day before. Or you can have um, eggs, anything, just as long as it's protein. And um, then I'm not hungry till 6 o'clock at night. I have a, I virtually have some chicken or some pork or some beef. and. Um, that's it. I don't have to eat all day like I did before. Always looking for snacks because you, you don't get the cravings. You don't get the carbohydrate cravings. So, um, plus your blood sugars are stable all the time, so you don't get you don't get that spike in your insulin. It makes you, uh, you know, when you when you when you eat sugar and carbohydrates, you get that spike in your insulin. And you feel tired after that, but you don't get that. You just don't get that. You might get a bit hungry, but not to the point where you can't think or you've got to go and have something to eat because you think, oh no, I could eat in another hour or so. So I remember when I was, um, when, before I became carnivore, because I'm a nurse, it's hard to get your breaks when you want to. And I can remember saying, oh, I can't think, I've got to go and eat something that's nowhere near you. With tea break time, and um, yeah, you just don't get that anymore. So that's cool. Uh, you don't get brain fog. I think my mental clarity's cleared up a lot. I can take in a lot more than what I used to. Um, things seem a bit easier, like working the computers and things. <sighs> um, so many benefits, but anyway. I wasn't going to talk about that, but I did. <laughs> Can't help myself. One more set of this.
main thing you notice when you do start on your carnivore diet, or the no carb diet, whatever you want to call it, is um, weight loss. Um, weight loss in a good way, because it's fat loss, not muscle loss. People are scared to eat fatty foods, but I have butter in my tea, I have butter in my coffee, I get laughed at at work, but uh, for me it's really good. You don't have to worry about fat. Your, your body's supposed to have fat despite what you've been told by the uh, food industry. You don't eat fatty foods, you actually need that. So fat is essential. You need it for brain cells, you need it for all your endocrine system, hormones. Um, it's silly not to have it when you think about it. Even though we've always been told to stay away from fatty meats, you actually need them. But see, one of the things in your body is your gallbladder. See, your gallbladder stores bile. And when you eat fat, bile is released into your duodenum, part of your small bowel, and that helps to break up the fats to be absorbed into your body. So what's been happening over the years we've been to a lot of a lot of people have been told don't eat fatty foods, stay away from fats. So what happens is the bile has no reason to inject from the core into the duodenum because there's no fats coming through. So what happens to the bile in the gallbladder? It sits there, it stagnates, it forms crystals and it forms stones, calcifications. Um, and that's why you get gallstones. It's more than likely because you're not eating enough fat. So when your body's your body's very smart, so it knows when when it's had enough fat. So what it'll do, when it's finished, when, it's, when your body says it's had enough fat, your gallbladder will actually stop excreting or ejecting the, the bile. And the, the fats that are left, left over just go through the bowel, which helps your, um, your bowel motions to soften as well, because you're not eating that fiber. All the fiber does is clog you up. Think about it, a uh, bowl of uh, wheat mix. When you finish eating that, you leave it out, you don't wash it. It's really hard, isn't it? It dries pretty solid in the plate, and it's really hard to clean up. So if you think about it, when you're eating fiber, and it, when it gets through the small bowel and it's into the large bowel, the large bowel, large colon, in the transverse colon, it primarily absorbs water. That's its job to absorb water out of the stools, back into the bloodstream, back into the system. So what's it doing to that fiber? It's sucking the water out of it and drying it up. So that's the reason why people get constipation as well. When they say drink more water, drink more water, and you've got to drink a hell of a lot of water to force that stuff through. But anyway, something that people can try really helps. I don't get constipated. I don't need a speck of fiber. I don't need bread. Bread's no good. Um, anyway, that's just that's just me. Just thought I'd share that with you. You can look into it more. Have a look at the carnivore doctors on YouTube. Quite a few of them there. Dr. Anthony Chafee, Australian doctor. Um, works in Perth, one of the hospitals over there. Ken Berry's in America. That's quite a few of them now, but you can learn a lot of them. Um, him, if you don't get full carnivore, you can lighten off the carbs and eat more protein. Anyway, I'm all set.
So I reckon if that's my chest done for tonight, I might do something, something tomorrow. I might do back tomorrow. I'll do some back exercise tomorrow. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, thanks to all the subscribers, it's getting a heap now. And I really appreciate your um, positive comments. Don't like the negative ones, I just delete them. People saying put a shirt on and shit like that. You don't watch if you don't like it. <laughs> um, but anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe and um, have a good rest of the weekend. And I'll catch you on the next one, eh? Over and out.